Lionel, what advice has Dave given you to this point? Uh, well, one of the first stories he gave me when he first, <laughs> first started coaching was he wanted to come out guns blazing and press the whole game. Um, and he told me that kind of backfired on him. So <laughs> I, I will remember that. Um, but uh, it's just been uh, hours and hours of advice. We talk. I teach here. Obviously, he's the principal. And w we talk basketball a lot, even when we're not supposed to. <laughs> um, so, so I can kind of take everything that he's that he's taught me and kind of make it my own style and um, make it an easy transition. Not really for me, but more for the guys because we'll have a lot of seniors returning, um, ten seniors returning actually. Um, so everything that we put together up until this point. I can kind of put my style to it and um, kind of make it my own, and I think it'll be an easy transition. Certainly, one of the challenges with Emmanuel, you guys alluded to it, Division Four, not only a small school, but one of the smallest schools. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult to draw from having only 40 some boys in the school? Uh, I mean, sometimes it's difficult to have guys out. This year we had, I think, it ended up being 16 guys for two teams. We've never had a, a freshman team. Um, one of the things I think is going to happen is that people know who Lionel is. Somebody might want to come play for him. Not too many people came running to the door to play for, for Dave Vernier. So uh, my two boys, maybe those <laughs> are the ones that, that, uh, that did. But, uh, I, you know, we, we um, have students who come to our school for, for a lot of reasons. And um, so we're, we'll be glad that to we, we've always just coached the kids that we've had. Mm -hmm. And the kids that are here, we'll coach them. We'll coach them up the best way we can. And... Um, so yeah, I think that that's, it's a doable thing for us to, to come and be competitive with whoever's here. Lionel, what can we expect from a, a Lionel Armstead coached basketball team? Uh, definitely hard work, hard nose. Um, like you say, I, we've been, well, I've been here for three years and I, I've been kind of trying to instill um, kind of what I've gotten since I left Emmanuel and came back. Um, I played in the Big East. I think it was the real Big East, you know, Georgetown, <laughs> UConn, Syracuse, some of the tougher teams. Um, and every night, you know, you had to fight. So um, these guys have a nice uh, foundation. I just think that we need to add a little hard nose, a little toughness, mental toughness more than anything, um, get a little more efficient and um, expect to see uh, hopefully some shots being made and some defense being played. <laughs> Speaking of shots, one of the hot button topics all uh, almost every year shot clock for high school basketball. Mm -hmm. Is that something either one of you guys are in favor of? I mean, certainly there, there are a lot of issues if you bring in a shot clock. you got to bring in somebody to run it, and then all of a sudden we know there's a shortage with officials, and if you're adding a third official to run the shot clock, or a fourth official to run a shot clock, mm -hmm. that's just going to multiply those issues. Is it going to make the game better? Is it going to make the game worse? What, what's your opinions on, on the shot clock for high school ball? First thing I think about is, is the logistics of it, like you said, because I've been the athletic director for a long time. Uh, Matt Parmley is going to kind of roll into that a little bit here, but just the logistics of it, getting volunteers and all those kind of things. I, I think it's probably coming, and um, I think if it does come, Lionel will be fine with it. Uh, maybe somebody old school like me who likes to move the ball around a lot and, and is okay with you know taking a minute off the clock every once in a while, but kids, you know, kids don't play that way anymore mm. either. So it's probably coming, and uh, he'll do fine with it. I might not have done as well. <laughs>